In this video, we're going to learn how to measure the pitch of a thread using a thread pitch gauge. One of my fellow instructors here at SAIT is going to be in showing us and giving us a demonstration on how to do that. Here we have an example of how to use a thread pitch gauge to measure the thread on a bolt or a fastener. It can be used on an internal or an external fastener. Here we have a fastener that has been prepared uh, with a special machine that's just behind it and the machine is called a shadow graph and we're using that for the video's purpose of showing how clearly the thread pitch gauge which I have over here can be used to identify how many threads per inch or in case of a metric fastener what the pitch would be. I'm going to install the fastener so that the shadow of it can be shown on the shadow graph and then you'll also be able to see the shadow of the thread pitch gauge and how it fits in. With this bolt I'm using, I'm going to use a 3 quarter inch bolt which has 10 threads per inch. So you can see that the thread has been magnified and shown on the shadow much bigger than it is. Like here's my real hand to show how big the profile of the thread is. And each of these bumps is a profile of the thread form, which is a 60 degree form. I'll show you the, the pitch gauge. It's very tiny and when you look at particularly fine threads it can be hard to tell which size it actually is if you're not paying close attention. I'm going to start by putting the correct gauge into the thread form and you'll see it show up on the shadow as I come down. It's an inverse image so it's coming from the bottom. But here's my thread gauge tool and you can see as I bring it in it mates very nicely with the thread form and I now know without any doubt that that is a 10 threads per inch thread and if you look at a bolt chart 3 quarter inch has that and this is a coarse bolt. I'm now just going to try it with one thread extra per inch so I'll use an 11 threads per inch gauge and you'll see how it just doesn't fit. So I'm going to bring it in 11 threads per inch. I'm going to try and rock it in and you see I'm touching over here but I'm touching on these other parts and I just cannot, even though it looks like I can kind of, I should be able to fit it in better, I can't. It's actually touching. So you can definitely see right away and that was just one thread off. I'll, I'll go way, way off, maybe two or three threads and you'll really see how there's no way you even get close. All right, so I put this example up because it's a very tricky situation where we have a metric bolt that has a very similar pitch to an imperial bolt. This has a metric pitch of 2.5 millimeters between each individual thread. It's 2.5 millimeters, whereas the imperial bolt had a pitch of 10 threads per inch. And I'm going to use a metric thread gauge and an imperial thread gauge and show you just how close they are and how you have to pay very particular attention if you're trying to identify this bolt with just a pitch. Okay, I'm going to use the, the perfect gauge which is the metric one, the 2.5 millimeter one and you'll just see how when I bring it in it will just drop ever so nicely into the thread form. You can see pretty much an equal amount of light along all the threads. Now I'm going to show how this other gauge, which is really close, which is a 10 threads per inch, an imperial one, is just not going to mate as well. It'll be close, and you'll see, but if you pay close attention, it's a tight fit here, but I got a bigger gap, a bigger gap, it can, gets continually bigger, and you can see that it did not mate as well as the metric gauge. So something to watch for. It feels like it goes in a good ways. If this gauge were longer it would be more noticeable. It's only six threads long. And that is how we'd use a thread pitch gauge to measure the pitch of a thread.